Good morning. Happy Switch Up Saturday. Yeah, so it's Saturday morning. It's, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I'm running a little bit slow. I did drip coffee this morning because I just, I feel like I need, the weather couldn't make up its mind if it was hot, cold, what have you. Um, it was just an interesting, an interesting week. So let's see, this week we're going to venture into the world of um, f finding another bag. And I'm trying to decide if I want to swap into something that I've bought recently or um, keep delving into the archives. Because so it's been fun to um, dig out some of those Michael Kors bags and just some things I haven't carried in a really long time just to, to see, you know, their um, usability. What I am noticing um, about that one Michael Kors that I um, have carried this last week is the strap is incredibly long. Like we were, um, we went out to eat and I didn't notice that I was dragging the strap as I had it down low. Um, I was walking with it, I was carrying a top handle and I swung back and Stefan caught it on his leg <laughs> and stepped on it and I'm like oh god I wasn't really a crossbody kind of person I always did top handle forever and and shoulder and it's just been the last year or two that I've really been kind of favoring crossbody bags. I think it's put, you know, going out shopping and just having the hands free kind of thing. But usually, like, I just, you know, throw the bag in the shopping cart or, or what have you, um, or just carry it wherever we go. So I, I guess I just didn't notice it. So, anywho, um, just a little bit, you know, something to note about it. But, um, I do like the, the versatility of it. It's a, it's way more spacious than I remember. For some reason, I remember it being a very um, small bag. But I, that era, I, the Hamilton being like as big as it is, I, it was way smaller than the Hamilton, and maybe that just kind of threw me off. But I remember making that assumption about it way back when that it was too small of a bag for me. It's definitely too small for work. Like a computer won't fit in it, but it's quite large for um just throwing everything in there and you can throw a water ball in there and put your little you know, mini umbrella in there you can carry a lot of stuff in there and it still has a lot of room so I might go get my hair cut I'm kind of just at a at my wits end with it and the ends are a mess I, I need to get at least a couple inches taken off at the very least but I don't know I'm thinking about just going ahead and, and making the taking the plunge and chopping it all off and figuring out a style that's going to be the the woman of a certain age style <laughs> that I need to come to grips with because the texture has changed significantly. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to um, go back to, um, you know, the way things were 25 years ago. So I need to just swallow my pride and <laughs> figure this figure this crap out because I'm spending way too much money on product and trying to make things happen the hair is falling out and all that kind of stuff just if I took care of it if I just figured it out took care of it I'd I'd be better in the long run so that is my goal for if it's not today this week is my goal to decide you know what's happening with it so um, if it happens today, I'll insert it at, um, you know, the end of the video when we check in at the very end. Or um, I did my Instagram and <laughs> yeah, the Instagram thing. I'll go into it more at some point. But anywho, um, let's talk about the fragrance of the week. Let's talk about where we're going to go with nails and we'll talk to you soon. Okay. We're over to where it looks like nothing happened this week. <laughs> I just didn't move anything around. I just kind of left things as they, 
as they were, but grabbed. But um, yeah, I used everything, everything this week. So um, I think I wore Wonder Woman twice, did Cherry Garden once. I did Fab Diddle's Shows twice. This one I did twice as well. So that was all seven, right? Two, four, six, seven. This one I ended up just putting on with the Montal because the Montal didn't have the longevity that I remember having. So I was a little bit disappointed. So, I mean, maybe just my nose became numb to it. Um, middle of the day. So I came over around lunchtime and um, sprayed some of this over. And I, since I have, I shouldn't say very little, but I don't have a lot left. I didn't want to use it too much. So that's why I pretty much just used it the one time. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a really, I think, good, good week. I'm going to go ahead and put Cherry Garden away for the time being. Um, I enjoyed care, uh, caring, wearing the delicious. Um, I remember why I really enjoy the fragrance. Again, it's not as spicy as Vanilla Diorama, but along the same lines as it. So I just really enjoy these um, Collection Privé fragrances. I need to um, go and try more of the, I have that big, Coffret of all the different scents. I need to really start exploring all of the other um, ones. So all those tiny ones back there, I have a whole coffret of, of those um, that I can go in and try. So I need to start working on that. And maybe I'll do that this week. I don't know. We'll see. But they're in the the dapper bottles, um, dapper bottles, excuse me. And they're just, you know, how I am with those. Like not as easy to use. So let's put these back and I will be back with this week's selection. Okay. Going a little risque this uh, week. Um, taking some chances. I haven't worn orange sanguine since I got this in my advent calendar, probably three years ago. And I remembered that I got lucky and found this at the um is it luxury beauty outlet or whatever the um outlet is here that carries this brand um so it's about this size they just happen to have like the last stock in there and so before i crack that one open i thought i should use up that one and Again, it's been several years since I used it, so try that one out. I have not worn this one as well for at least a year. Um, I have that big set from Joe Malone from an anniversary sale. I want to say it was, no, it was two years ago. Oh my God, two years. So a while. I want to try this one out because I don't remember what it smells like. And that's the last, literally the testing it out was the last time I wore it. So trying that one out uh whispers of the gardens which one is this one whispers of guidance is this one i will insert the notes and then this one is whispers of admiration um so we're gonna go with some florals this week and then this is supposed to be kind of a beachy-ish scent from Christian Dior. Again, this is one of the dabber bottles, so um, I'm going to do my best with that one, but I do remember liking the way it smelled, so definitely um, late summer, or I'm sorry, late spring, early summer vibes with this week's tray. Okay, so if you remember, we went with a really simple everything taco last week, and that was fine. I mean, it held up as I anticipated it would, so I'll have to get that scrubbed off the nails. Um, still having the issue with them breaking, so not exactly a fan. This one's like on practically 
nubs. But um, yeah, we're gonna go something really simple this week. I think we're gonna do one of the frosted metals or maybe go back to um, oak couture or something like that because I just want something that's really basic and low maintenance and not have to worry about if it chips, if I care how it looks. Um, yeah, so maybe, I'll do gift receipt. Oh no, that's got cake. That is one of the other sparkly ones that actually should be with the toppers. I think we're gonna go with this one. This is cheap champagne. We need some cheap champagne in our life. Okay, so if we remember, we were in this lovely lady all week, and I never got around to fixing this um, hardware situation right here, but I will work on that, and I have to work, see that? <laughs> it's a very squishy and lovely leather, so this is not the bag's fault, but it just kind of doops. Other than that, I mean, I carried a lot of paperwork, my sunnies, LB, more paperwork, that card case, the keys, the coin, that bad boy, more keys. What the heck? a chip <laughs> of some sort. I'll figure that out. More, more receipts. This, what would that come from? Goodness gracious. A mini SD card. That might be important. All right, well, we're gonna stuff that back up and get a new bag. We are back, my folks. We have one of the archival bags. We're gonna we're gonna finish this series. <laughs> so this is one of the last Hamiltons that I picked up. In fact, I think it was the last Hamilton I picked up because it's when he changed over to the Hamilton Traveler, which is this style. It is the same lock, but it doesn't have the um, audacious, I guess would be the way to describe it, strap that goes around. It has inside D-rings. Let me see if I can pull out the strap because I was oh so careful with how I stored this by not actually caring for the strap. This is the strap. A rather subtle pull strap. So this was my more, my foray into a less loud the interior even is much more subtle. It still has the slip pockets on the side, the cell phone pocket, slip pocket, zipper pocket right here. So same structure inside, significantly smaller. Um, it's this is a structured leather. Well, it's a, a Napa, but it is not squishy and malleable the way the other Hamiltons were. This was definitely, there's some cardboard or facing or something in here that keeps it, you know, standing up. So it definitely has some shape. This is squishy right here, the siding, but all of this, 
all of this has um, some shape to it. You know, it's scratched up. The leather has definitely seen better days, but yeah, we're going to try this one out. I don't think this one's going to leave the collection ever, but um, for the longest time I wasn't carrying it because it wouldn't fit my computer. And now that I don't need it to carry the computer that often, I will, I, I'm going to see if I, if I can use it this week and, um, and love it. I'm going to swap back in to my normal card case because this bag can carry it and I'd rather have all of my cards. Um, and I will be right back. Tons of room to spare in there. So quite lovely. What else did I miss? Oh, it has a zipper closure. So that's the other aspect that's different of it. So I will post a mod shot on Instagram with it like I did last week. Um, yeah. I think this will be a good one for the week. So cute little top handle, lovely smooth leather. Just was a really cute bag. I wish I would have gotten it in more colors at the time. Maybe I can find a pre-loved one. I'd probably pick this up in um, a white or a red, just to just to have. But I I really did like this this version of the Hamilton. Wish I had a longer strap though. I have it on the middle. There are one, two, three, four, five, six total adjustments. And even at this one, that would not be a crossbody. So it's, it's a top handle. Well, it's the end of the day ish <laughs> end of the beginning of the day um went and got my hair cut you can barely tell they just put long layers in i'm sure it'll look different once i wash it but after they straighten it and do all the things to put the layers in this is what it looks like so not too traumatized we'll see what happens um later on but a little bit shorter got the nail polish this is one layer of cheap champagne and I went to the rack while I was out they had and they wouldn't let me film they were on me like white on rice in there um they had a ton of desire sunglasses so if you're needing desire sunglasses right now Celine Dior Gucci YSL they had a giant case full of everything. I picked up some YSL ones. I'm going to show those in another video, but, um, all under $200, really, um, decent selection. I thought in my opinion, if I could have snuck a photo. I would have, but, um, check out the rack. They are doing the clear the rack clearance time. Not a lot of bags, um, unfortunately, but, um, they never do at my, at my rack, but, um, Anywho, yeah, so this was this week. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.